Discussion on Intermittent Pneumatic Compression for DVT Prevention The risk of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism can be reduced by giving intermittent pneumatic compression of the calf muscles. The authors analyzed data from over 16,000 patients in 70 clinical trials to assess the benefit of giving intermittent pneumatic compression of the lower limbs in preventing DVT. They also checked the additional benefit of adding pharmacological thromboprophylaxis. Intermittent pneumatic compression reduced the risk of deep vein thrombosis from 16.7% to 7.3%. Pulmonary embolism was reduced to 1.2% from 2.8%, that is an absolute reduction of 1.6%. It was also more effective than thromboembolic deterrent stockings. Intermittent pneumatic compression was found to be as effective as pharmacological thromboprophylaxis with an added advantage of lower bleeding risk. Combining pharmacological DVT prophylaxis and intermittent pneumatic compression further reduces the risk of DVT. The number needed to prevent one deep vein thrombosis was 11, while that for pulmonary embolism was 63 with intermittent pneumatic compression. Intermittent pneumatic compression device has cuffs applied to the legs and tubings attached to a motorized device. The device provides intermittent inflation and deflation of the cuffs so that intermittent compression is applied. This will facilitate venous return which should normally occur due to contraction of calf muscles in an ambulant person. Thus the device enhances venous return and helps in prevention of stasis and thrombosis. A Cochrane systematic review assessed the combination of intermittent pneumatic leg compression and pharmacological prophylaxis for prevention of venous thrombosis. They included 22 trials with 9137 participants of which 15 trials with 7762 participants were randomized trials. They found moderate quality evidence that combining both modalities compared to either modality alone decreases the incidence of DVT when compared to compression and incidence of pulmonary embolism when compared to anticoagulation. Effectiveness of intermittent pneumatic compression was also documented by the CLOTS-3 trial in post-stroke patients. This was a randomized controlled trial in 2,876 patients at 94 hospitals in the United Kingdom. Another meta-analysis of critically ill patients included 5 randomized controlled trials with a total of 3,133 patients. They found that intermittent pneumatic compression alone, anticoagulation alone and the combination of the two were associated with significant reduction of DVT and pulmonary embolism compared to no treatment. But there was no significant difference between these modalities when compared together. Stop leg clots, a Swedish multi-centered trial of outpatient prevention of leg clots is a randomized controlled trial of intermittent pneumatic compression in lower leg immobilized patients. They plan to enroll 700 patients in each arm and study completion is expected by the end of 2022. Subjects will be those with either an acute angle fracture or Achilles tendon rupture.